Welcome to Derek Huffman's project. Joining me is my good friend Andrew from all the way back to second grade we go, don't we? Yeah, it's been a been a long friendship. Yeah. It kind of started with Halo 2, let's be honest. Yeah, elementary school we were playing Halo 2, and that's our challenge today. We're playing Halo 2 without dying. We can't die a single time. It's the cannot die challenge. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, we're playing with some settings in place. Yeah, uh, hardest difficulty on Halo 2, legendary, number one. Infinite ammo skull is activated. Like you said, we don't do checkpoints. One of us die. Even if we're towards the end, we both have to restart. We wanted to take a real life approach mm. and kind of bring it into a game. Yeah, if you're in real a real war zone, you're you're not you know raging in there, guns blazing. You're taking cover. You're keeping your head down. You're trying to make it home alive. So just to be clear. We're starting with the mission Cairo Station. It goes by a mission by mission basis. From start to finish of the mission, we cannot die a single time. Yes. Once the mission's over, that mission's completed, we move on to the next mission. Well said. If we die in that next mission, we don't go all the way back to the beginning of Cairo Station. We go back to the beginning of that next mission. It's mission by mission. Yeah. Well, Nonetheless, we cannot die throughout that entire mission. Yeah. And this is a little bit of a, a beginning of a series for us, right? Yeah. We love this concept of no die so much. We're going to take it throughout the duration of Halo. We're going to take it into other video games we enjoy. This is the beginning of a long running thing for us. Yes. Yeah. And, and each upload is going to contain one mission. So this upload is going to be just Cairo Station. And then after that, we're going to jump into Outskirts, Metropolis, and so forth. Other games. And uh, yeah, let's yeah. get to it. Let's do it. All right, so I'm on the top screen. I'm on the bottom. And uh, first things first, battle rifle. None of these other weapons are really going to be as effective. I might grab a magnum as my secondary, mm -hmm. just because it's easy to pick off grunts with it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. And battle rifle is definitely most important. I mean, for us, we've been playing this, like you said, for second, since second grade. Uh, we are familiar with this mission. Um, but it's still difficult, it still poses threats. Infinite ammo also comes with infinite grenades. Very helpful. Just to preface, we're not the best Halo players, but uh, this is the most enjoyable way we found. Yeah, and it's so fun to really just be careful and and, and play in a way that's, that's not all about just, you know, being trigger happy. To take strategy, take cover behind a bunker here and there. I don't know why, but that's actually what stimulates uh, my enjoyment in the video game more so than the typical way to play. Right. Most people play the other way, and uh, that's fine. But, oh God, we encourage you to try this way. This is the way to play a shooter. It, it, yes, it, it mounts pressure as you go. It's fun makes you kind of think about your next move. It's easy to revert to a last checkpoint and go back three minutes. If, you, if you're 45 minutes invested to a game, you're gonna take every single step a little more cautiously. By the way, how's your sensitivity? A little slower than usual? No, mine's fine. It seems a little faster. You wanna slow it down? Yeah, that's right. I hate to do this, but I might. Oh, that's fine. There we go. All right, perfect. Much better. And you said it best. It's it's all about you know being more um, aware of each step you take, each move you make, every breath you take. You got it. I'll be there for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think you just said it better than I did. So yeah, you now win that that battle. Um, and. Uh, Wise men say that only, only fools, fools rush in. And that is true. We've, I think we can explain to the viewer, we've tried this so many freaking times. Um, yeah. Camera issues, deaths, it's been a difficult strategy. That's the number one thing we've learned, fools rush in. Yeah, we, we've attempted these missions on, with this challenge uh, many times and so we're pretty familiar with these first three missions in particular. And one thing that we found is, if you're not patient, you're gonna die. Yeah, 100%. Um, 
Yeah, I, th I think that this mission in particular is something that we've played outside of camera, YouTube, many times as well. This concept of no dive we've been doing for over 10 years. And so this is something that we'd be doing just like a, on a regular Friday night like tonight. Only difference is we're putting a camera on it now, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is yeah. something we truly enjoy doing. Yeah, this, this is supposed to be more of a, you know, relaxed sort of podcast slash gaming video. Uh, I'm sure this is something that's commonly done. I even heard you say that people are doing this sort of thing on Twitch. Yeah. Um, which, who knows, maybe we'll, we'll start uploading there too. Yeah. Once we figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, much trouble technology-wise so far. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, we we hope that people can just you know watch this while they're just you know kind of laying back, not doing much, just taking the edge off a little bit. Right. Um, we want this to be kind of a chill podcast type series. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Get some insights of what we think about, what we talk about. I feel like we're pretty normal dudes for the most part. Maybe, uh, I feel like we're very similar as well. I mean, we know each other extremely well. We've been the best of buds since second grade. So a lot of the concepts and talks that we're gonna have stems back from kind of our knowledge of what we like and what we've talked about, but it's still gonna be new and refreshing. So stay tuned. Yeah, we, we, we have so much to draw from as far as content uh, material to discuss, yeah, because we have we have so many uh, memories that we've made together as friends throughout the years. I mean, we're twenty eight, going, right. and our friendship goes back to when we were in second grade. So, right, that's a big chunk of years there to to draw from material wise, and uh, yeah. we're glad to have you along for the ride. Thanks for tuning in. I think we, uh, I think that was a very good intro into kind of the series, the next several series, um, the no die concept overall over the course of Halo and several games. But yeah, let's jump into our first topic. Star Wars is yeah. always our favorite. I mean, we're both big Star Wars fans. Yeah, let's let's come out right out the gate by saying that Star Wars is actually the subject. I can't speak for you, but I for myself, I'm the most knowledgeable when talking Star Wars than any other topic. Right. No, I, I, I mean, we've talked hundreds of, of hours worth of Star Wars. Mm. I'm right there with you. You're definitely more knowledgeable than I am, though. I will say that. But there's guys that know way more, you know, uh, than us. Uh, there's guys yeah. that know the comic books front to back. Yeah. There's guys that know the names of every planet and species. I'm, I don't know all that as much as I just know the ins and outs of the movies. Right. The main saga in particular. Right. Um, yeah, well, I mean, to a new viewer doesn't know you at all, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? That's a good question. Um, now, I'm gonna give you my favorite uh, main saga movie first. Yeah, let's stick with the, the saga for now, and then we'll jump into you know, Solo, Rogue One. I saw a sword down here. I'm going to grab it real quick. It's going to help us they out later. They are here, just so you know. Cool. I'm going to be right up there with you. I have the sword, so let's be extra careful right now. Because so far, things are looking really good, and I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, same. Yeah, tonight feels like just a on night, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to be extremely patient. Like... Let's not rush it, because if we rush it, we're likely to die, which is going to cost us more time. Yeah. We'll go all the way back to the beginning of the mission. And we're certainly skilled enough in these missions on Legendary yeah. now to make it in one pass per patient. I don't, I don't think we, we realize how much time we're saving by being patient. Yeah, good point. You know? That's something that's never brought up. To the viewer, we've probably spent, I'm not even joking, probably the last seven to eight months recording and doing this. and. Uh, you know, between lost footage and dying, we haven't been able to upload, but this is hopefully gonna be one everyone sees. Yeah, and trying to get the sound right, trying to get the technical issues out of the way. It really gives appreciation for YouTube videos. And yeah. Go through. Yeah, I mean, we're filming on a 
a pretty dated camera. We're gonna up, upgrade the cam yeah. camera at some point, but uh, yeah. as of right now, we're gonna start it off with what we have and and uh, upgrade as we as we get a little bit more advanced. For sure. Back to my question: What do you think is the uh, your favorite? Part of the actual saw. I know that favorite one movie is, or favorite part? favorite movie. Favorite movie uh, outside mm -hmm. of Solo, Rogue One. Um, you know. Um, you I, know, I think you you make a good you make a really good case because I know your answer to this question. Mm -hmm. You make a really good argument for Revenge of the Sith. Right. And when you think about what the Revenge of the Sith offers. It offers a little bit of everything, right? You have awesome duels. Right. You have great story with lots of consequence. Mm -hmm. You have this unorthodox ending where the bad guys sort of win. They come out on top at the end of the movie. And... Sorry, I just threw a plasma on top of that crate. Oh, that's all so... Uh, and what else? You also get a little bit of Vader at the end there, in his full suit. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, the scene's only about a minute long, but it's an awesome scene. I think you nailed it. I mean, I, everything that you said I agree with. The one thing I will add is I think it's such a good tie-in to the original trilogy. This, the prequels were ended brilliantly, I think. They, yes. they really did a good job of tying it into episode four. Evil becomes supreme. They are now in power. Mm. Very well done, in my opinion. Yeah, Revenge of the Sith. So we both agree on that, actually. Yeah, surprising. Now, let's be honest. You know, three years ago, it was uh, episode seven for you. That was your favorite. I still love The Force Awakens. Yeah. Even though it's a very heavily flawed movie, I still love it. There's something magical about The Force Awakens. Um, explain the flaws. Well, the flaws, let's start with the positives, though, because I, I want to talk about how great this movie is. This movie rebooted my enthusiasm for Star Wars, because after uh, the saga ended, uh, you know, it was finally concluded after the Re Revenge of the Sith was released. Right. I, uh, I was like, Star Wars is awesome, but you know what? I'm kind of going to move on with my life and take my interests elsewhere. But then when Disney released the uh, sequel trilogy, starting with The Force Awakens, when I saw The Force Awakens in theaters, it revamped that enthusiasm. And right. suddenly I cared about Star Wars again. It's so much so that we both started caring about Star Wars again, and yeah, it actually instilled a more of a love for us on the original trilogy and the older episodes, and yeah. especially you know the prequels in the original trilogy. It kind of revamped our a new passion for Star Wars. Yes, exactly, and and the, the probably the biggest reason for that is because I have this fascination with the character of Kylo Ren. And a lot of that is based on his appearance. I think he looks really cool. Yes. He has a very interesting look. I think his look is so cool. You got this dark, tall figure, a lot like Darth Vader, which was intended to be that way. Yeah. But his mask is, it has this very sinister shape and, uh, and look about it where it's like, yeah. wow. It has like almost like an angry arched eyebrow look. And it's new, it's modern, it's evil, it's Yeah. Fun. Yeah, it's... In it's the back of the helmet, it comes out, and like, it, it's, it, it does that thing where it, uh, it sprawls out a little bit. Yes. So, it gives that, uh, a very interesting looking aesthetic. I will admit, coming off of the Vader helmet, which is so iconic, mm. it's what everyone thinks of when they think of Star Wars, mm. something that special and powerful, mm. The, the second is always worse than the first. So for yeah. Star Wars to be able, to, for Disney to be able to create something that's actually cool, looking good, and something that we like is mm. impressive. And not just 
a copycat of, oh, they're trying to be too much like Vader. They're trying to, no, it actually looked cool. It was actually a cool thing. Yeah, it looked like Vader, but, you know, Vader's was much bigger, right? The, mm. the, the sprawl uh, was much bigger. It took out, it took out, like, the entire back part of his head. And it was still so cool. It was still good. Very cool, yeah. but uh, Kylo's is more of a compact look. Yeah. So it looks a little bit more like a military helmet. It's modern. Yeah, and um, and then we talk about his outfit. I mean, where do I begin? In The Force Awakens, he has that uh, that uh, shawl, like kind of sprawled yeah. and, and bunched around his neck, which I think looks really cool and no interesting. No skin really showing. It's no all skin showing. Yeah. Very fashionable. Uh, whoever designed was the like costume designer for that movie, like props. And um, yeah, fashion wise, I'm actually really inspired by the. By Kylo Ren. Yeah, darker clothes. I, I, yeah, I, I, I want. Yeah, I wear. I wear clothes that are pretty much Force Awakens inspired. Yeah, we're I both wearing black. Look at us. Yeah. No, no, I clearly didn't dress up. I, I, I didn't wake up today saying Kylo Ren and do this. It's just no. It's our taste. Yeah, it just, it, it, it it influenced our taste. Um, uh, just to wanna, change the subject really really quick, let's focus. Do you want to go in or do you want me to go in? Yeah. Why don't you take the first flank? Yeah. I'll try to take the left. So you take the first. You hit him. Be cautious of the asshole coming behind you. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna slice him down. You're gonna you're gonna head in that direction. I'm gonna get spawned though, so I'm gonna get as there as fast as I can. Well, listen. When I, don't go in yet. It's gonna it's gonna spawn you. We're good. We're good. Um, when, uh, when I go through that door and kill that guy, I'm gonna go up the stairs and around through the back. Okay, so... You can go in under the scaffolding. Yeah. And whichever way he goes, he's gonna meet up with one of us. Let's do that. Go for it. I will spawn here when you go, and, uh, I'm gonna head towards the scaffolding. Alright, he's dead. I'm coming for your guy now. He's coming from behind us right now. Wow, he was hard to take down, but we did it. Good job. <laughs> wow. All right, so far so good. Um, I'm gonna really do my best to stick this guy twice right now. See, is a white elite. How are we looking up there? We got a blue guy kind of running freely, and you stuck him, and we are sitting pretty. This is a tough spot, actually. I think we should put our concentration into this right now. All right, let's put our guard up and then um, take it slow. There are grenades that fly in, and actually the risk of getting stuck is kind of high. Yep, there they are. I am going to back up, and there are the grenades. All right, well, good call. I think we're gonna make it through this part alive now that we know how to approach it. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, I mean, if I'm being honest to the viewers, there are three other missions we've completed already and have to scratch them all because of an audio issue. So yeah. we're familiar with this process. The most recent mission, which we will eventually post on YouTube, Delta Halo, my original point, I think after playing that mission and playing this, this is a little easy, you know? This feels very easy. I think that we're gonna coast through this. Incoming. Yep. Um, this shouldn't be much of a challenge at all, but you can never underestimate a mission because that will get you killed too. Oh yeah, that is true. We're just gonna have to alternate taking out the red guy. And Incoming. Uh, Maybe not. Do you want to proceed to the? Uh... Yeah. Incoming! Towards you? I'm good. Towards me. Grunt is down. Uh, Grunt's down. It should be uh, clear. Be pretty good. I'm gonna hop up on the second flank. I always find you know that. What? I'm gonna join you. I'm gonna join you quite indeed. And then, uh, as always, I'm gonna throw some grenades right in this part. Oh, there is a white down there, so, oh, all right, well, there's a large bunch down there for sure. Um, so far, so good down there, though. We're looking pretty good. Uh, let's 
Let's talk. Let's talk a lot about a little something to fill in some dead air. Yeah. And again, this podcast, I think it's not always about filling in dead air. It's just relax. This is the type of podcast I think you what you turn on, you you eat, you doze off. True. It's, true. What kind of dead air did you want to fill here? We talked Star Wars. <clears throat> yeah, we covered a little Star Wars, and, and to be honest with you, I could go all day. I mean, just. And we will over the course of the podcast. Name a character, and I'll and I'll go into a full like nerdgasm about them. I mean, you just saw me do it with Kylo Ren. Yeah. Um. But there's characters I don't like. Sure, like Rose Tico. I don't think anybody likes Rose Tico. Yeah, I definite miss by Disney. Opinion. Um, I mean, let's be honest, the Disney Star Wars versus the uh, George Lucas Star Wars very different. White Elite down on the bottom right. Bottom right? Inside the uh, control room. Okay. Oh, I have a good shot right now if I could just get some grenades in there. And again, infinite ammo. Uh, we could sit here all day trying to get by this with two grenades and, you know, 128 rounds of BR ammo, but this is what's fun for us. Yeah, without the infinite ammo skull, it was just so unenjoyable. Yeah. Because scrounging around for ammo. Alien weapons. I hope scrounging is a word, but we were scrounging for ammo constantly. Yeah, we were. Do you want to hop down there? Have you heard the word scrounging before? I've used the word scrounging. I hope it's a word. Because I'm a fool if <laughs> If it's not, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble big time, yeah. <laughs> Um, what do you say we hop down and see, uh... Yeah, get a lay of the land. I'm going to ever so carefully peek around this corner. I'm gonna switch to Plasma. How are we looking? Yeah, there's a white elite in there, and he okay. means business like D'Alavera and Morgan. <laughs> One of our favorite, uh, insurance agencies, or, uh, lawyer agencies. Yeah, they got me through several lawsuits. Um, particularly yeah. the one with Fagan and Mahoney. Oh, God. I remember how hard of a time period that was for you. Because you gotta remember, I was down five thou, and if I lost that case, I would be in financial ruin. <laughs> My briefcase was already broke. It was broke, yeah, I remember. Um, but you recovered big time. The only thing is that was a hard time period for you. My file cabinet had a crack in it. Oh God, you fixed that? You never fixed that, did you? Yeah, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> De Oliveira and Morgan, is that the uh, yeah. company? <clears throat> De Oliveira and Associates. Call on the hurt line. We mean business. Would you say your favorite podcast right now is Taste Buds? Um, podcasts is really the only thing I watch. Uh, every once in a while, I'll see a Joe Rogan clip or two, but for the most part, it's the only podcast. Oh, watch out! Oh, watch out! <laughs> this goddamn door system is fucking me up, man. Yeah, I'm gonna. I switched to Frag. It's just less dangerous. Yeah. Oh, watch out! Damn. How are we looking? We're looking clear. We're good. I'm gonna take a safe spot underneath the stairwell. Yep. I am too. So nice and room. I'm a big fan of. Uh, I know you don't know what this is. Kirk Minahan show is a. Uh, it's a comedy podcast, and I'm, I'm a big fan of it. They're funny. I think so. Yeah. You, I know we're similar in many, many aspects. Mm -hmm. You might not think so. Um, Kirk Manahan show is one of my favorite podcasts. I listen every single day that they come out. And come on, you got me on Joey Molinaro. You don't think I would like these guys? It's okay. So it's hard to kind of get into this because there's so many inside jokes. It's like almost hard to start, but once you start, it's great. If does that make sense? Mm. So well, yeah. we just did a big inside joke. Yeah. Did you see what we did there with the D'Oliver and Morgan? Yeah. Um, that's a big inside joke for sure. People will be watching it when that was a joke. Like, yeah. Uh, hey, look down here at this window. Wouldn't it be so cool if we could just like break through the glass and just completely skip an entire segment? God, I know. Cause we'll be there in a few seconds. A few, a few minutes. Seconds. 
Yeah, that's uh. Is this uh? All right, so this is the old. This is the new one. I think I still like the the old one better. The new one isn't outer space a little too detailed in in the new one. Well, yeah, it's like I look. I, if I walk outside right now at night, I look up. It's not this. It's maybe this. Like. Uh, it's it, this is this it's, seems more accurate, believe it or not, because I I have never seen that much detail in the sky. But maybe you, you can see more detail when you're actually in outer space. I guess. But this much detail and this much color. I, maybe everything's so lit up and I. But yeah, that's not even the bad part. Let's talk about the bad part of the new graphics. Look how bright everything is. Yeah, it's extremely bright. It's like I have to squint. Yeah, the old one is much more soft. Yeah, it's, it's easier on the eyes. Alright, let's go uh, draw in the crowd. Is there a, uh... Yes, there is. I gotta get out. Someone's gotta move. Yeah, these guys are actually fucking cool. assholes. Oh, well, they'll turn on us if we kill them, though. All of them, I guess. She doesn't even die. Not. She got the the never die skull. We should keep her alive. <laughs> she should come with us. Yeah, she's still green, so we're good. All right. Uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get right in this this corner here. I guess it defaulted me to the right, so I'm good. Is he <sighs> there? Is he? One is One's down. down, the other one flew out. I mean, I would too if I was uh, faced with this kind of warfare. There we go. It reminds me of the time a, uh, I was in Africa, and a ravenous insect flew into my nasal cavity. What? And were you okay? Or? Well, let me finish. It raged into my brain. Uh-huh. And now I'm a little bit screwy. So or actually, I should say, now I'm screwy. Well, are you really? I noticed you were a little off since you came back. You were 17 years old when you, that happened. You were never right since. <laughs> I'm gonna apply some lip balm, actually. I have my balm somewhere. Here it is. Yeah, this part gets a little challenging. A little bit challenging. You were in Africa once. I was in Africa once, actually a different bug flew up into my nasal cavity, but the same story actually happened. How'd it turn out? Well, look at me now. I'm a little screwy. <laughs> <laughs> Still it gets you, right? I mean, yeah, that's, that's it doesn't get old. That's comedy genius, really. Uh, I mean, you're the comedy genius that came up with it. I feed you the lines, you deliver them. That's how, that's how it works. Is the execution so funny? Wow. Yeah, it's good delivery. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. Again, inside joke. Mm. But it doesn't. I don't, it's just. It's not. It's actually not inside. If I heard that for the first time, I would go, "What the fuck was that? That was really funny." Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's really weird. I like really weird humor. Yeah. Well, both of us do. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of weird humor, favorite comedians right now. I mean, just to name a few. My number one is Joey Molinaro, and I mean, call him a comedian, Instagrammer, well, whatever. He's my favorite content producer. Um, He's great. He does a killer Chris Collinsworth impression. Yeah. Boy, this is gonna be a fun game, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> just look at all the aliens everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. You brought me into the world of Kyle Mooney, which I'm glad you did. Yes, Kyle Mooney's gold. He, uh, my favorite uh, bit that he does is the uh, the Kyle interview bits, where he he goes to you know, some sort of gathering of sorts, whether it's a, you know, a, a freestyle event or, um, you know, some sort of reptile convention. Yeah. And he'll just go around to random people with a microphone and, and point it in their face, but he'll say something first and then, and then like, you know, tilt the microphone towards them. 
But oftentimes it's not even a question. Like he'll yeah. just make an odd statement. Yeah. That's but the inflection sounds like a question, and, <laughs> and then he and then he turns the the mic to them, and and they're like, uh, I'm sorry, come again. Ball players playing real real good today. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, you know, everybody's playing really good, and and um, uh, b ball players going wild. You know, <laughs> or uh. uh <laughs> I was I was a perfect example. No, no, no. Like, there, there's another one too. There's a uh, when he was at the freestyle event, he goes, he goes, wow, this is fun. Um, gr real grindcore excitement. <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry. This is a lot of fun. Real grindcore excitement. <laughs> Which it took me a while to understand what he was saying. It's grindcore excitement. Yeah, I wouldn't even have gotten that out. <laughs> but the way, that, yeah. the way you said it's almost indiscernible. This buggers me business. Maybe the hardest part of the entire mission Yeah, I'm gonna take some cover. As you can see, if we die now, we gotta restart the entire mission. Buggers are down. Oh, one more here. And um, we're pressing along just fine. We're looking just great. Uh, this is our first attempt of the night and we're and we're cruising. Yeah, we're cruising pretty good. I gotta say, I am quite impressed with the way these two guys are performing. Um, look yeah. at them there, sitting on that couch. Yeah, I mean, they prepare for, this, for the months now. Uh, these guys work hard. And, and most importantly, they are the show. Uh, yeah. They really, they really have a great charisma and a quality to them that's actually a little bit sexy. I mean, it's just so. I mean, I just mean, look at them out there. Look, look at the guy that's scratching the side of his head. Yeah. I, I, I uh, I'm really turned on to him. You are. Huh? <laughs> This is great grindcore excitement. So far so good in this mission. This is the, not very often the first mission of the night we make it through alive. To be honest with you, after playing Delta Halo and some of the harder missions, seems like a piece of cake. I hate to say it, I hate to jinx us, but... And we're near the end of the mission and uh, you said 10.30? Because we still have 50 minutes. That's... That's a... Ideal? If it goes to 1150? I. 1150? I, I'd consider. That's a big jump. An oddly big jump, isn't it? <laughs> it's oddly specific. <laughs> 1152, I. I could do 1152. I'm not sure about 1153. <laughs> I'm gonna require some convincing. <laughs> you play your cards right, bucko. <laughs> Yeah, if, if I uh, set the mood right, if I get some Marvin Gaye going. Yeah, that always does it for me. Drink a few more glasses of wine. We got ourselves a fun little night. I, I, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna do some terrible things. I think I'm gonna score tonight, to be honest with you. <laughs> One could hope. Um, speaking right. of scoring, I'm putting these Martians into the floor. I'm cooking them. There's charred aliens every which way that I turn. I see it right now. I can smell them. It's disgusting. This section, we have to be a little careful on. We've died several times here. Um, One of us has to pursue. That's what the key is to this. And let's wait for this thing to drop, because once this structure drops, it gives us a better look at what's back there. In some way we can, one way, rather, that we can shake up the bee's nest is hucking grenades in that direction, sometimes that gets them moving. Yeah, might have to do a little more time. Maybe they don't even spawn until I advance. I think you have to advance, unfortunately. 
But yeah. to play it safe, I'm going to minimize our risk of dying. I'm Maybe I have to advance a little bit, back. and I'm going to quickly run back the second I see them. There they are. They just All flew right. over. There I'm going to get behind the warning tape. Yeah, fortunately, they're not very... Uh... Oh, shit! <laughs> they're not very easily accessible. Um, I think if we, sh we rattle the bees nest this time, maybe we'll... Yeah, 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 there we go. I sort of told you they'd show face eventually. Yeah, you're right. After playing this game hundreds of times, I only got one of these right. Oh, and you said it best. Oh, what did I say? What did I say? Give me some props here. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself, yeah. Andrew. It's it's really one of those games where you have to you have to be blunt and you have to be straightforward, and that's why we do it. I don't like that. I don't like the fact I said that. I'm gonna pursue a little bit. Let's see. I mean, these guys are. They have no, they're both still alive. Yeah, very much so. One's about to go down, I just know it. If I play my cards right, I can pop them in the trigeminal nerve, and he will that hit the deck. Uh, yeah, it's gonna disactivate the, uh, the whole nervous system. Yeah, it's gonna disable his nervous system, um, especially if you can kind of drill in through the um, temporalis muscle and really get in there and penetrate the trigeminal nerves. Does that paralyze them temporarily? Or? It, it'll temporarily paralyze them, which is good, because then you can get them in position to, you know, pull the uh, the fatal trigger. And it's and it's nights out. It's, 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 uh, yeah. it's nights out forever. How are you feeling? I think we killed one of them. I don't know what the second one is. The second one is around. He's live. He's scary. He's poisonous. So let's be careful. I'm going to actually retreat a little bit. No, maybe they're both dead. I see two carcasses back there. I don't know how we did it, but we killed them both. Again, this seems a little uh, easy for us. Let's proceed with caution. Let's, Let's just make sure it's on legendary real quick. Right there. Yeah. Legendary, just just proof for everybody that we're playing on legendary. Shit. Hold on, that's not good. Let me try to teleport you to me. Good song. Very good song. Shout out to Kid Cuddy, teleport to me. Off of the WZRD. Couldn't have said it better, friend. We are me. You are who? Uh, we are me. Losing a little Play bit. my CD, and then you can be my B, best friend, till the end. I rhyme. It's my time to shine. My life is all alive because I'm playing Halo, and we are doing it full grind, full time, full alpine stars. That's a boot, a racing boot. In fact, you cannot stop my attack. When I come in, I slap with the Mickey Mac. Cheeseburger, McDonald's. I am so disgruntled by your attitude with me. Stop giving me shit. I will make you sniff my pit, you fucking piece of shit. I will come in and, and eat you out because I know what I'm doing with my clip. Bitch, uh, what the fuck am I saying now? I'm rapping all over the goddamn place, but I come in spitting that rickety whap. I'm rickety nap. I'm rickety whacked. A bug flew in through my nose. I'm cracked. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to stepping in the booth with a guy like Moo? A guy like me? That was actually really impressive. Oh my god. That was really well done to a guy like Moo. <laughs> Thank you. I think you just saved the video. <laughs> God. If you stay tuned till this long, God bless you. It's just... Oh, I'm the scaffolding. I'm actually gonna be Remember they advanced us? They rushed us there? Is this a sword? To keep this guy fine. I'm so serious so fast. <laughs> Do you remember that time though the elites came right up on us and they were dumping clips into us? I think while we were in the elevator? Yeah, I do. I'm pissing this out. They all seem to have a beat on me right now. 
Uh, I'm gonna throw as many grenades as I possibly can get off right now. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Oh, shinks. How are we looking? I'll just throw that guy there. There's a red guy and there's another guy on the left side. Let me try to go, go get a better angle at him. There's a red. I don't think there's any whites. I'm only seeing a red. I think it's the last elite. Too. I didn't see a white. Oh, never mind. Alright, I got the red down and the white is... You see him? Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, shit. He's not, he's not fucking around. I'm going back. I'm laying into him pretty good here. Oh man, that's so scary. That's scary Same yeah. needles coming at you and because they have a lock on quality. Right. And <laughs> I couldn't get in the cover quick enough. Right. So uh I inherited them into my skin. <laughs> this oh man, this guy's tough, huh? Well he's white. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, if you get a different vantage point than me, that'd be great. Let me try Plasmus. I stuck nice. him! Is that the end of him? No, no he's still alive. Fuck. I stuck him! You just won the game. Yeah. Ugh. There we go! I pumped him full of ducats. Sure did. Good job. Nice. Alright. That was Cairo Station. We appreciate you joining us for the ride, and we're gonna move on to outskirts, and we will see you there. Stay tuned for the series, the No Die series. Yeah. Gonna be a long one, gonna be a fun one. And drop a subscribe, and drop a like, and Derek Huffman's project.